Hey guys, how are you? It's Layla here and today I'm going to be talking about something that has been highly requested and that is how I stay active. First thing I will say is that my goal with fitness is um, to be strong and to be confident and to be in control. When I don't work out, I feel truthfully like crap. Like I just don't feel good about myself and I feel like I have no self-control and I just don't feel my best so when I work out and when I have the motivation and I guess the forcefulness to sort of prioritize my workouts and I get it I get them done I feel so good I feel you know confident I feel in control and I feel strong so that's kind of my ultimate goal with working out is to feel strong confident and just in control of myself and of my body now obviously the bonus of all of that is that your body starts to look good and I definitely have um, a goal sort of in mind of how I would want my body to look like and it's by no means skinny or a stick figure I actually love curves I love my curves I have curves and I'm actually going to show you guys what my current I guess fitness level looks like just so just because we're already talking about it and I thought it would just make sense um, I'm just looking at my notes here to keep myself on points so basically Kind of the main thing when you talk about working out for me has always been because i've always sort of worked out but the goal i think is just this little magic i guess formula that is so easy to think about and that is can you guess what it is <laughs> that's consistency like that little formula makes all the difference in the entire world for me and um you know, I sort of have always been on and off working out since I was a teenager, but I've never truly stuck to a fitness regime or like a routine. And in the past couple months, I've been trying to stick to um, a, a sort of a routine on a weekly basis. And that has been working out okay, but I'm still not at my like 100% goal. So basically the whole thing of um, seeing results with your fitness is just being consistent. And I know it's such a simple concept, but trust me, it's it's not easy, and I personally, you know, can vouch for that. I struggle with that on a daily basis. I just feel like that it's something that you have to be in control of and aware of on a daily basis. Like you have to just make it a priority. And I don't know how it works for you guys, but I have a list of to-do lists, um, sort of like a to-do list on a daily basis. And unless I schedule a workout, it just doesn't happen. Like I will be lazy, I will procrastinate, and I won't get it done. So for me, it has always been if I if I if it's my goal to make it happen, then I have to schedule it and I have to sort of implant it into my day. Then it happens, and then I do it, and then I feel great about myself. So what I've also found for myself is that I don't like gyms. Like I, I've tried, I've had memberships, I've went to all kinds of different gyms and I just don't like the gym environment. And there's a couple things. One, and, uh, I think the main thing is I get distracted. Um, I get distracted, not distracted. Distracted um, when there is stuff going on around me like I'm one of those people that needs to be either one-on-one -on -one with a trainer or like um, a, a fitness workout um, program or DVD whatever so having gone through that experience of just testing out different gyms I realized that it's I just I'm plus on top of that I don't like the whole look of like machines and that type of thing like I would probably enjoy more of a studio environment but again if there is a lot of people I would just be distracted I'd be looking at what people are doing I can't help it it's just how my brain works so I found for me what works the best is at-home workouts and um, and in the future if I can afford a fitness trainer that would be amazing a personal trainer um, you know a couple times a week that would be great but so far I found that I have a bunch of DVDs here that I'm going to share with you guys that I found that helped me um, to stay on track. So once I figured out that okay, home workouts is what I like. Um, how do I keep myself like on a daily basis? How do I make myself excited about the workouts? What do I have to do on my part to make sure that I, you know, I'm inspired and motivated? And I found that cute workout clothes make all the difference. Like if I were to not have any of my cute clothes for working out and I would just wear 
any old t-shirt or whatever I just wouldn't feel the same about myself like I don't know what happens but in my head as soon as I put on my my workout gear and I put on my running shoes um, and I do wear them because it's just easier when I do certain exercises I just feel like transformed like instantly my brain goes into like this mode of working out and being like on top of things I don't know what it is so invest in some clothes that you like personally I like um, sports bras and I'm wearing one um, that I guess I'll show you a few so let me uh, go grab them and I'll be right back. here I have a bunch of my um, workout stuff and I just love the workout bras because I get to see uh, what I'm doing and like the movement of my body and so here I have this one it's by Under Armour um, it's really nice it can be um, this way or this way so you kind of feel like you have two and then I have another one um, by I think this is Ice Gear um, obviously lots of pink I have this one and this is exactly the same thing in another color and these ones are from Lululemon and I really love their um, stuff for working out it's great and then I have just a couple shorts and I like things again that are tight so it sort of helps me to see my form when I'm working out and then when I do yoga I actually prefer to wear um, like the capris that are just tight and again these ones are from Lululemon again and so I'll just show you what I have on right now and this is kind of like my go-to um, so here's the sports bra and that's the back and then the shorts I'll just go back a little bit so you can see so here here's kind of like what I wear and what makes me feel the most comfortable and to work out so and another part of that is create an inspiring environment if you're like me and you let you prefer to work out at home so I work out right there in the back I just put out a yoga mat and um, another part of that is to have a mirror and I have that full length mirror right there that you guys can see over there and that is kind of like super important for me because when you're working out your form is like everything because if your form is incorrect you're sort of wasting your time and you're not getting the best and the most out of your workout so that's why I have to work out in front of a mirror um, to kind of if that's if you're working out by yourself obviously if you have a personal trainer they can sort of guide you and fix your you know different movements so I just love working out in front of a mirror that's why I like um, these uh, workout clothes that are more tighter so you can actually see what your body is doing and um, yeah so an inspiring environment and right here why I chose to work out here is because I have these um, French doors that look out to a beautiful like greenery and that to me is everything and on a beautiful sunny day it's like ah oh, it's amazing another so thing that helps is to have like the fitness goal um, body that you have in your mind find images and stuff like that to kind of keep in the back of your mind I save them on my phone and I look at them from time to time and I also follow different fitness groups and things like that on Facebook and Instagram um, and I just kind of get inspired by that daily when I see those images of like bodies that are like you know that I want I'm like okay gotta get there gotta push through and and just get over that laziness or whatever and just still go for it just quickly go through the DVDs that I actually do and I try to work out a minimum of three times um, during the week so my goal is four to five times three to four times as a minimum so far I'm sort of around three to four times a week and you know it's just like a habit you just have to build on it and if you don't have time to do like an hour workout or whatever even if you do just 45 minutes or if even if you just do like half an hour or even like 15 minutes anything put it in your in your day and I try to do that with mine like even if I don't have time at all to do anything I'll just do like 10 or 20 push-ups and you know like maybe calf raises because I want to build up my calf muscles just do anything that will take you like five minutes but just get that workout in even if it's just that tiny bit so um, I just have a bunch of DVDs here that I'm not gonna mention in any particular order I guess the first one I'll go through is or I'll show you is uh, a yoga um, a yoga DVD and this is by Tara Styles, I believe that's how you say her name. She's actually on YouTube. You guys can search her. Um, she'll come up. She's really great at what she does, and um, there's different kind of routines that she does. But one that I do is an hour yoga, and she does it in a studio, and it's amazing. It's so your body feels so so good. So I I really love this. If you love yoga, definitely check it out. One of my favorite instructors is um, Stephanie Vitorino, and I have two of her DVDs. One I've gotten before, and it's the ultimate 
body shaper here you can see um, and there's two 30 minute workouts with, and it's to tighten buns, flat stomach and jiggle free arms and I really like this workout the only thing about it is that you need a step stool for one of them and so I don't always feel like grabbing that from you know all the way downstairs so I don't always do this one but it is a good one if you like that high intensity workout um, and I do do it sometimes so uh, another one that I really love by the same um, instructor is uh, body target 60 and there is different workouts. There is a cardio sculpt 30 minute workout arms shapes for 10 minutes But for 10 minutes abs defined 10 minutes so you can choose to do whatever combination you like I usually just do the hour when I do this one. I do the full hour. So um, It's great. There's also at the end a, um, a, What do you call it a stretching little routine? So that's amazing too to stretch at the end. So that's my other favorite and then I have um this one is Brazil butt lift and you know us girls who doesn't I don't know why you can't see the the way the lighting is working you can't really see the the title but anyways obviously you know we all want a nice tight firm butt and that's something I'm always working towards and it's by um, this program is by Leonardo what's his name Leonardo Carvalho Carvalho he's uh, from Brazil and there's three sets of DVDs and there's different workouts on each one. My favorites are uh, High and Tight and Sculpt which is on the third DVD so I usually do those but there's also other ones that I do as well but those are kind of like the main ones that I um, go towards and then I have um, and some of you, most of you will probably know them. They're my favorite trainers on YouTube. It's the Tone It Up Girls and I have two of their DVDs. This one is they did in collaboration, I guess, with Jane Fonda and it's called Jane Fonda's Workout Sculpt and Tone and I really like this one a lot. Um, I just love them. Their bodies is like perfection and they're not skinny, they're toned and sculpted and I love their attitude. They're, so fun to work out with. I feel like I know them and I just love I love this one and then um, they just came up with the Beach Babe series and this one has um, two DVDs inside and um, I do I do a different combination because you can do, there's like seven I think um, yeah surfer girl workout bikini sculpt um, and whatever there's like seven different um, workouts so you can choose to do however you want to mix and match them so those are my main ones and then also you guys know that I love to dance those of you who know I love salsa dancing and I go once a week so I kind of get my cardio in that way because I don't really like cardio um, just on a regular basis I don't enjoy cardio workouts so I get the dancing in and that's something I love doing so it doesn't feel like a workout. So I have this one for dancing that I do sometimes at home and this is like cardio ballroom um, different routines that she teaches you and it's a lot of fun so it's dance with Julian Hub or Julian and she's the sister of, um, of uh, what's his name from Dancing with the Stars he's amazing I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right now Derek Huff, Derek Huff and um, yeah they're both of them are incredible so sometimes when I want to do like a little dancing at home I turn to this so these are all of my like go-to DVDs I also do Pilates so as you can tell from what I have I love yoga I love strength training and um, sometimes weights and workouts where you kind of use your own body uh, cardio I don't really like that much that's why I love the dancing part that kind of you know incorporates the cardio into my workout um, so there you go I hope you guys found this video helpful I kind of talked through everything that I do and how often I do it I hope you found it helpful again I'm not an expert so I'm not sure if you can really learn a lot by what I do but I hope I hope you found it helpful and uh, another I'm gonna end with just saying that if you want to sort of keep track of my daily um, routines or foods that I eat or clothes fashion makeup then follow me on Instagram as I do share certain a lot of stuff that I do during the day so if you like that then I'll post the link below or you can just search um, on Instagram again I'll post the link there so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.